because I realize I have not talked about bioregulators yet on the channel and kind of break down a little bit of the difference between a bioregulator versus a peptide. They're going to be very similar in the sense that they are going to help with healing purposes. But the main differences here is that traditional peptides such as like BPC, ipamorelin, TB500, MOTC, SS31, those are going to be longer chains of amino acid. Peptides are going to be the length typically of anywhere between two to 50 of amino acid chains in the peptide molecule. Well, bioregulars are going to be much smaller molecules. So they are going to be more so at the length of anywhere between two to four amount of amino acids. This is why you can get bioregulators in an injectable form. And you can also get bioregulators in a capsule form, which is a huge game changer because I know working with women and I think everybody in general, we get tired of poking ourselves with needles. 